Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Custody. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong people in custody, the right ones are here. <laughs> so yes, just by way of an update, um, the case came up today and we, start, and we started trial, like we had expected. Uh, the state produced two witnesses, uh, but the second witness who came was evaluation surveyor. We thought that we should uh, you know, interrogate him after we have uh, an examination of the document that he produced. You know, trial in the subordinate court is trial by ambush. You don't know what documents your friend brings, so they brought evaluation report, which of course we were quite uh, familiar with. So we just wanted to ensure that we get instructions and consult before we come and cross examine the witness. Uh, so the progression for us is very uh, exciting. I think we will finish this uh, court in record time uh, because now we've given two, we've been given two dates in December. We are coming here on the 21st and 22nd December, and we intend to come and possibly finish the case for the state on the 10th of January 2023. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Uh, mine is basically uh, to express, uh, you know, sadness at uh, the headlines that we are reading now in the tabloids, uh, reporting that, uh, for example, the Minister of Justice has said the debate over the audit of the Defence Force is futile because government has already made up its mind and it will proceed. In other words, the Minister of Defense is saying they don't mind undertaking activities with impunity even when they are illegal. So to that effect, they are just find the fact that uh, even when the Auditor General as stipulated by law was never involved in that process because one is in State House or Community House gave a directive that you know, private firms to which we know he had interest and we can speculate he still has interest should audit this defense, you know, uh, uh, defense, the defense force. We feel that such statements are reckless and we only want to warn that the day of reckoning is coming. It may not be today or tomorrow, but it will surely come. Misaka in the HDM, one day will have to account for all the actions, decisions, and things that he has done and he will do while he's in office. Same applies to Honorable Rufuma, same applies to Honorable Msokotwani, same applies to Secretary of the Treasury, same applies to all officers who are involved in wanting our security, you know, uh, secrets to be exposed recklessly like that just because people are interested in benefiting through that process. That impunity we condemn, and we don't expect the Minister of Defense, especially of the standing of Rufuma. Honorable Rufuma is more experienced when it comes to issues of governance than his president's president, because he has been in parliament for close to 20 years, and therefore it is sad that he will begin to participate in the process of justifying such illegalities. Thank you very much, and God bless. Have a good day.